We are the Quest Bros, and uh, we go to conventions, and we've been doing improv D&D for about four years now? Yeah, like five years. Four or five years now. Um, we've done this countless times that I don't even remember. So, this is Dungeons & Dragons for people who have never played ever. This is also Dungeons & Dragons for people who have played their entire life. So there's going to be something for every single person here today. The way this is going to work, we are going to have four people audition for four different roles that we're going to have you then come up on stage. We're going to have three people as a party against one villain. In our party, we're going to have a fighter, a magic user, a hu and a healer, okay, then again, against our villain. So I will ask a question for each of the roles. You'll raise your hand, and we'll have a couple of our quest bros come out, we'll pick four people. You'll come up and you'll give your answer to the question. And just to kind of get minds thinking, we don't want serious answers for these questions. And then once you answer your question, you, the audience, is going to cheer for who you, whose answer you like the most to have them come up on stage and be a part of our party, which will be led by our DM, Daniel. Any questions so far? Recording. Yes, we are recording this for our YouTube channel, so if you do not want to be on camera, probably don't audition. Um, yes, and also, we know Dungeons & Dragons can tend to go to the PG-13R sectors. This is, though, a family show per Fan Expo. Not for us, we would like to have this 18 plus, but we can't. Um, so, make sure you guys are keeping things in the PG. If you're pushing PG-13, I think we're all be okay. Um, so yeah, just want to make sure we have those notes out there so everyone is aware. What am I forgetting? Nothing? Alright, so let's get started. Our first role that we're going to be auditioning for is our fighter. So your fighter question is, what is your greatest weapon? So when I say fighter, that doesn't actually relate to the Dungeons & Dragons class fighter. You can be anything that hits... Really hard. Really hard. You can be barbarian. You can be someone that swings a sword. It really doesn't matter. This is just the class catch-all that we're using. So again, your question is, what is your greatest weapon? And I don't want to hear about a mace that you got from a wizard that does plus five damage. I want to hear about the inflatable Minecraft sword that you use to fight donkeys from your dreams. Something like that. Something weird like that. So if you are interested in auditioning for the fighter, please raise your hand. We're going to pick four people. Quest Bros. Two of them for each of these people. So raise your hand high if you would like to audition. The doll of my son. No, you go up. Yeah, you, you gotta go up. Yeah. Oh, I gotta yeah, go yeah, 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 and you'll come up here. Okay. And you'll answer your questions in front of everyone. All right, first, let's give a round of applause for these people that are brave enough to come up here. All right, so I'm gonna come down the line. Fighter number one, what is your greatest weapon? The doll of my son. <laughs> the doll of her son. All right, fighter number two, what's your greatest weapon? High ground. <laughs> That's fair. Fighter number three? The tears and blood of my enemies, also crying. I think the villain came up a little early. <laughs> fighter number four? I was trained in the way of the sword, but by God, I gotta use a steel chair. <laughs> All right, so now everyone, you guys are gonna applaud for the one that you like the most. So let's hear it for fighter number one. Fighter number two. <laughs> fighter number three. And fighter number four. All right, one and three sit down, two and four stay up. I am not sure. All right, sudden death. All right, fighter number two. And fighter number four. DM? Number four, all right. Come on up, you'll get a nice clear blue dye. Also something I'd like to incentivize too. If you stay through the whole panel and show us that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, we have these badge ribbons that you can attach to your badge and look so cool. <laughs> if you're not able to stay, don't worry, we are doing this tomorrow, same place, same time. So check it out, that's what the QR code is. Just scan it, there's stuff in there. There's also a survey, you can let us know how we do. Cool, okay, let's continue on. Next, we need a magic user. So your magic user, your question is, what is your greatest spell? Again, don't want fireball, don't want thunderclap, give me something crazy. So raise your hand if you wanna be our magic user. Quest Bros, go pick. Go, go, go. 
Okay, y'all won't fight each other, hopefully. All right, magic user number one, what's your greatest spell? You want me to come back? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll go number two. What's your greatest spell? Dinosaur chicken nuggets. Oh my god. I don't know how that works, but I'm interested to find out. Yeah. Number three? Mage beard. It's like mage hand except for everything with a beard. <laughs> yeah. a beard. All right, let's come back to one. Summoning poisonous scorpions that poison is not actually deadly, but instead makes you hallucinate about your greatest fear. Oh. The villain I came up early. <laughs> I got lost during that. <laughs> okay, number three. Power word, oopsie. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be easy. All right, <laughs> magic user number one. Okay. Magic user number two. Magic user number three. And magic user number four. All right, number three, you got it. Come on up, Lucy, you get this gray die. All right, next, we need a healer. This is usually a cleric. That's about it, really, all you can be. Um, all right, so your, great, your question is, what is the greatest injury that you have ever healed? Think about it, think about it. All right, people know. We need four people. It's okay, in the past we used to have everyone that wanted to audition come up. That was a mess. That's why we only do four now. All right, magic user number one, what is your greatest, no, this is healer. Healer number one, what is the greatest injury you've ever healed? Healed. Cured. The one I caused. <laughs> Alright, we're getting meta now. Healer number two? Uh, loneliness. <laughs> Everyone seemed to relate to that too much. <laughs> Healer number three? So with the dinosaur chicken nugget thing, because we didn't want the character to die and he lost his legs, we turned him into a dinosaur chicken nugget. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, healer number four. In an alternate timeline, I heal J.K. Rowling of her turfness. <laughs> All right. I will say, if you do come up here, please don't try to force anyone's agenda on you. I know we're all trying to be on the same thing, but I also am just trying to... Say the disclaimer so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> All right, no healer number one. All right, healer number two. Healer number three. Healer number four. All right, healer number four, come up on stage. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm coming the other way. You've got a, a non-clear blue dye. Also, th these are all for you guys to keep. Uh, not the dice. Not the dice, don't keep the dice. <laughs> uh, There's stickers and buttons and cards. All right, and the last thing we need is a villain. <laughs> you don't even know the question. Calm down. <laughs> all right, your question is, what is the evilest thing you have ever done? All right, four people. Don't look at me, I'm not choosing. <laughs> You've been at every single one of our panels for the past four years. <laughs> giving someone else a chance. Shout out to when you had all, everyone who wanted to be the villain come up and there's 36 people on stage. And only three people in the crowd left. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, villain number one, what's your greatest, what's the evilest thing you've ever done? Taking the ducks out of the local pond, one by one, very slowly, so no one notices. <laughs> There's, they don't say that you can't take them. They just say you can't feed them. <laughs> All right, villain number two. Very purposely did not replace the toilet paper when I very much noticed that it ran out. Oh. All right, but 
over or under? That's the real question. <laughs> All right, number three. Uh, as a DM, I purposely gave my little sister PTSD's care uh, for her character. Oh. <laughs> I was really concerned until he said, for my character. <laughs> <laughs> and villain number four. I work in a computer lab, and I have taken every single keyboard, key off of the keyboard, and mixed them up. Oh. I love that. I love that. All right, let's hear it for villain number one. Now, villain number two. Villain number three. And villain number four. All right, villain number one, you got that one. Come up and we've got a nice red die for you. They love farming ducks. They love farming ducks. They took them, yes, yes, yes. No ducks were harmed in the making of this. <laughs> Notoriously ambiguous. <laughs> all right, so now the way this is going to work for you guys up here on stage, you all have die in front of you. Those are all your die. Anytime you want to do something, you'll roll the die. The higher the number, the greater the chance it's going to happen. The lower the number, better luck next time. <laughs> um, when you do roll your die, please read it out loud so everyone in the audience knows what you roll. Because you could have a great reaction and everyone's just going to be like, what? I don't get what's happening. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Anyone in the crowd have a question? Good. That means I'm doing my job. All right. DM, please help us find a location. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> it sounded really weak, I'm going to be honest. I want everyone in the Maid Cafe to be completely disturbed by the yelling that you guys have. <laughs> How is everyone doing tonight? <laughs> That's much better. Now I have ringing in my ear. Thank you very much. Alrighty, everyone. I want everyone to just scream out a place for our party to just be thrown into. I'm going to. We've done that before, actually. That's really fun. I'm going to do Nebraska. I heard Nebraska. What's there? Nobody knows. It's That's nothing. why it's an adventure, everyone. I know it's in Nebraska. Every good story starts with the villain picking on the party. So, here you are, your home state. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Um, but, you know, it's yours. And that's what matters. And these troublemakers, they're coming in. They're trying to cause trouble, mischief. You're not having it. So at our local tavern, where we always have it in uh, great Nebraska, they're causing a ruckus. How are you going to stop them? I intend to walk into the tavern and give them a wordy threat. Like? <laughs> They didn't think this very far through their life. From the middle of nowhere and cause trouble in my town. Near my Stay. lair. With my ducks. <laughs> Roll. Nine. In the middle of their monologue, you hear quacking noises. And it totally takes you off guard. You're like, man, that's really cute. <laughs> Just in the background, he's like, oh man. <coughs> Sorry, what were you saying? That's <laughs> cleric, healer. What was I saying? No, that's just like your reaction as a party. You're just like, what were you saying? Cute ducks, cute ducks, think cute ducks. The ducks are so cute. Yeah, exactly. Can I have a duck? I want to keep the duck. No, no, you may not have the duck. Why not? Because I said so. Put <laughs> the cherry on top. Cherry. No, like, pretty please. Oh! Oh, you oh. 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 have a duck and a cherry? Shirley Temple's all around! Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Roll. 13. Alcohol always makes these much better. Sorry, PG, PG, PG. It's a Shirley Temple, calm down. <laughs> 
The bartender comes through and starts handing out everyone to Shirley Temple. They look over at you and they're like, oh, whose tab is this on? <laughs> That'll be 950 gold. Uh, yeah, exactly. I can assure you I don't have that, nor do I know any of these uh, folks. What's in these things? <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> oh. Good enough for me. It smells like spray. Oh. Ooh. Just the whole thing? How much does one cost? Well, if it's 950 divided by three, right? Four. Four. Oh, four. Yeah. So it's... Math. We don't do math here. This is a safe place. We don't do math. Uh, two, two, so you drink the whole thing? Yeah. Yep. You, you must be feeling great right now. I don't know. No. What do you want to do? Don't touch the ducks. <laughs> Please don't hurt the ducks. I wasn't gonna hurt the ducks. You were talking about death with a cherry on top earlier. I, I just want to make sure. Ducks with a cherry on top. That sounds like you're gonna eat them. I, that does sound like I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> don't let him eat them. <laughs> don't eat the duck. I would like to turn one duck invisible. Is that possible? Shh, absolutely. Okay. This is D and D. Anything's possible. <laughs> I would like to turn a duck invisible and take it. Roll. That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. <laughs> hocus pocus, magic stuff, blah, blah, blah. Boom. The duck grows, 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 and destroys the entire tavern. The duck is now continuously growing until it's the size of a metro bus. It's a kaiju. <laughs> I feel like I got the bulls mixed up. I don't know if we're supposed to be the villains or if they're supposed to be the villains. I feel like I kind of messed up here. Can, can I shadow the Colossus the duck? <laughs> I didn't say I wouldn't let him. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, cool. I, I so, you jump onto the duck's foot and he flings you across. You go as far as a football field and land. You're like, man, you go like this and you realize you don't have a horse like he does in Shadow of the Classes. You have no chance of getting back towards that duck. So you have to walk all the way over there, defeated within one round by this duck. It is astonishing, but they're all over your duck, all over. What would you like to do? I'm now going to climb atop my giant duck and uh, begin to try to remove the rest from the area by sending them flying like their original compatriots. Roll. That's another nine. <laughs> <laughs> These dice were weighted. <laughs> Similar to the fighter, you try to climb on top of the duck and meet a similar sort of circumstance where the duck flings you away. You go high up in the air instead of long, though, and you start floating down. Blasting off again! <laughs> <laughs> Gives you a lot to think about, but as well as the cleric and mage get a lot of time to think. I have some good news. There's no good news in D&D. I speak duck. That's... go on. <laughs> Wonderful. This is my favorite part of the show when someone speaks duck. I'm enticed. You, you get advantage on whatever you want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Roll. Advantage. You get to roll again. I'll take the higher one up. So is the duck. The duck's totally enticed by you. 100%. So it sits under the villain, just opens. Ready to eat the villain at any time they come down. Yeah! 
Mage, don't mess this up. <laughs> it's going so well. Hey, villain person, if I save you, will you pay for the drink? <laughs> It always happens this way. <laughs> They're thinking. <clears throat> Eaten by a duck. Have the mage help me. <laughs> it's really hard to decide. I'm going to put on my fakest villain facade and lie. Of course, of course I'll pay the tab. I, that was believable. I, I'm gonna be honest, I mean, like, go for it. All right, I would like to... Can I try and shrink the villain? <laughs> you can do whatever you want, it's D&D. because &D. if I shrink them, they'll fall slower. Yep, something about science. That's how science works. That do be how science works. And it also might be easier for the duck to eat them, who knows. But you could do it. Okay. <laughs> well, that's an eight. <laughs> Instead of shrinking the villain, you give the villain the ability to fly. You're like, yes. I meant to do that. Absolutely. Yeah, that was totally my plan all along. That was believable, right? Why do I have Absolutely. <laughs> because I pay, I, I get expensive drinks, and then we have to run from the taverns. Can you really blame him? He's drunk. He had one shirt in temple. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much alcohol in there. You know, that's at least like three micrograms. Is this right? Yeah. yeah. That explains a lot of my childhood. <laughs> you're sweating. You're you're getting back from your football field jog. You're like, oh, where'd you get the chair? I didn't take my weapon. It is his weapon. It is his weapon. Yeah, it's <laughs> I don't listen. Just like every good DM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to climb with a chair. You're back with your chair. Take a loaf off. Eat some popcorn. I'm just trying to appraise the situation and see how I can help. Which is not looking good. Okay, I mean, you can appraise whatever you want. I'm not gonna say you're gonna do well, but you can do it. Um, what is the duck currently doing? Waiting to consume. <laughs> I, I attempt to topple the duck, because it's clearly now a threat. <laughs> It's like a free-for-all. <laughs> duck's on the cleric side, the duck's on the villain side, the mage is on his own side, the fighter's trying to eat this duck. I want free drinks. Free drinks. Roll. Seven. <laughs> you tackle the duck, ruffling up its feathers. You're just like pushing it over slowly and slowly and slowly in your head. You feel <laughs> as though you're doing so well, but in reality, you're just like a little man pushing on a duck like this. <laughs> just, uh, wow, wow, you're really soft. Like, <laughs> you, you start to get a little tired. You did just run a full football field in six seconds. <laughs> That's impressive. With a chair. With a chair. Back to the villain who can fly now. <laughs> Oopsie. Nobody's fault. Nobody's fault. Seeing the fighter distracted, I am going to attempt to kick out one of their legs while uh, they try to push the duck. Top of the top of the Top of the top of Roll. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I <did> better against <laughs> the duck. Has anybody rolled a ten? <laughs> the cleric rolling a twenty. <laughs> you deserve it. 
Thank you. He's the only one trying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. It all works out that way. You didn't specify to the evil DMIM which leg you were talking about. So you fly down and you kick one of the chair legs out. <laughs> Bop! Take that to your weapon. Jonathan, no! Of course the chair had a whole backstory. More fleshed out than our fighter. That is, that is the most d, &D thing I've heard all day. Me, I'm just some dude. But my chair came from, came from the master grand oak tree, harvested by 16 elves. Jonathan, no! Of course it did. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm just concerned about the chair. As a healer, I feel like I need to take the chair. Take the chair. I messed up. I messed up going in on this chair thing. I want to put that on record right now. I totally regret that. Oh no! Not the Home Depot in Nebraska. <laughs> Also a carpenter. <laughs> so was Jesus. <laughs> all right, let's go get some wood glue. I'm all for this plot line. Ooh, I like that idea. I was just gonna say she gets something flammable to ru rub on the chair, but I like the idea she starts talking to Jonathan. Jonathan, what do you need? Tell me, please. Yeah, I know, it's very hard. <laughs> I, I too miss Jonathan deeply. Jonathan, no, your leg, what do you need? Tell me, please. Jonathan whispers, nothing, because it's a chair. <laughs> All right, fighter. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, well, I saw that this villain just hurt my best friend, Jonathan. <laughs> so I don't care if they're paying for the drinks. The gloves are off. What? We're pulling out the big guns. It's like, why are they a party? They don't know. Jonathan gets hurt. Everyone, all hands on deck. We need to save Jonathan at all costs. How dare you? A chair. You guys are laughing and invested in a chair. gonna do yet. Keep in mind, he made the villain fly. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you gonna do to help Jonathan the chair? <laughs> I'm looking right at the villain, and I'm casting power word oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, his signature is <laughs> Roll. You cast power word oopsie. I never thought I would ever say that. <laughs> Write that down for later. <laughs> Boom. And it has this slight effect of almost undoing an oopsie. So you cast it on the villain and you see as the villain had kicked the leg of the chair, start to rewind a little bit and actually turn and kick the fighter. <laughs> Much more relatable because 
an inanimate object had a name, and this person does not. Oh, Jonathan. Most weekends, I'm an inanimate object, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what that I can't wait until you go home tonight, and you're just sitting up, thinking about Jonathan in the chair. <laughs> ah, I relate. <laughs> Every day. Fighter, you get kicked in the leg. By the one and only villain, wink. <laughs> definitely not the rest of us. It's definitely not the mage who gave the villain the ability to fly and redo their kick to kick you. <laughs> Save Jonathan for Oopsie. the fourth day. <laughs> What's the fuck doing? It did save Jonathan. Oh, yeah, the duck. <laughs> You're just there. You're so, chilling. You just had a good time. The duck is no longer my priority because the fresh maiming of Jonathan that was recently on fresh in my mind. I go into a berserker rage and uh, and throw Jonathan at the villain. <laughs> so that Jonathan can save the day. Yep. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> well, this is my favorite part as a player when they're like, they're like, whatever is up there, please, please. Seventeen. <laughs> you grip Jonathan with all your might. You let out a vicious scream. <laughs> Wonderful. You grab that beautiful, beautiful chair, and you realize this chair ain't made of oak, like I said it was. It's made of ironwood, and you smash it against the villain. I presume the villain's still flying. They're close. That works. They kicked you. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Pay more attention to me. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> there is a duck still there. <laughs> Priorities. Ouchie! <laughs> you got hit by a chair. I presume you didn't like that. Oh no. I wouldn't get I wouldn't like getting hit by a chair either. Especially not one named Jonathan. <laughs> Yikes. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I wasn't worthy enough to get hit by Jonathan. Is that better? <laughs> Getting scolded by the audience. <laughs> it happens. You got hit by a chair. It hurt. You're still flying, though. You were just close enough to get hit. That's how that works. What would you like to do? You're quite a worthy, strong opponent. But I don't play fair, and I'm going to reach into my pocket and throw feathers at you and try to fly away from your range. Pocket feathers. That wasn't my joke. It's like three other people said it. I just took it. I love stealing jokes. Roll. They try their best. <laughs> they start flying up a little bit at a time. They're like 10 feet away from you. <laughs> Still in range of scary, scary Ironwood Jonathan. <laughs> Yikes. Would you like to heal the villain? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's just like everyone kind of doing their own thing. <laughs> The duck loves you. It's, it's basically domesticated already. Great, I speak duck, so it should be easy. What's his name? Jonathan. Jonathan, too! <laughs> Go ahead, roll. I can't say what the duck's name is in this room because it's PG. Oh. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Everyone else sounded like they got that joke or reference. I'm like, what does that even mean? Luckily, she could say it in Dutch. I could. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> wow! You kissed her mother with that mouth? Holy cow! We gotta bleep that in post. That is. Oh, 
that. There's not even a word in English for that. I'm no longer sure who the villain is. And I thought I was evil. I love this. This is a great time. Go ahead and roll. The only one successful to get on <laughs> and <laughs> it lets you. And you start flying up towards the villain. Oh, God. <laughs> Captain Oopsie. Hey, I got a name. It's more than I get. Yeah, you're one of three characters that have names now. <laughs> All right, mage. How do we go about this? Okay, well... You ruin the day, you save the day, you save Jonathan. I think everyone thinks you're the hero right now. <laughs> I'll take that. Healer seems to have um, our oh. duck covered. I'm going to buff the fighter. Uh, I'm going to say, hey, the healer can fly. The villain can fly. Let's get the fighter fly. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Give Jonathan a chance. Thirteen. That's something. The mage goes, huh? Huh? Jonathan gets wings. <laughs> Fighter goes, oh, not jet engines, but this will work. <laughs> People in the crowd have tears in their eyes. They're loving this. The tale of Jonathan. Can't write, write a book about it. Can't wait for everyone to be like, oh, this sounds so intense and interesting. It's about a chair. What? <laughs> that makes no sense. I've seen weirder isekais. We love Jonathan. We've all seen weirder We've isekais. Nice. <laughs> There's one about a vending machine. <laughs> You're doing great. With you and Jonathan in hand, you fly towards the villain. The, uh, the nameless, the nameless fighter, astride his best friend Jonathan, uh, gives chase to. He's no longer really sure who the priority is, but he's just kind of following along. Eight. <laughs> following where? The sun setting? The sun is in my eyes. Apparently it's the only thing in your eye. You start heading towards the sunset. With Jonathan of all things. That poor chair. <laughs> Jonathan was so excited to get in, involved in this fight, and you're like, Hi ho! To the sun! <laughs> well, if the sun's gone, the villain can't see. <laughs> this is the quest to destroy the sun! <laughs> that totally won't have ramifications later! <laughs> It's Nebraska, who really cares? <laughs> Villain, the fighter's going to kill the sun. <laughs> the cleric's taking your duck to kill you with it. <sighs> Captain Oopsie is just being Captain Oopsie. <laughs> you know, the line of villainy really gets smudged during this. It's like, who really is the villain? The one who stole your duck? The one going to destroy the sun? It's not Captain Oops. He's just kind of <laughs> You gotta like the guy. He has a name. He's relatable now. <laughs> Jonathan is the namesake of the team. Jonathan and the Jonathans. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jonathan and Jonathan. Jonathan Jonathan. This is a total mess. <laughs> Way too much 
too quickly. Holy cow. All right, so Jonathan and the Jonathans. Sounds like a Horrible's 80 band. Um, just totally, no, that wasn't, that wasn't like, uh, like, hey guys, start a band. Wink. No, 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 the opposite. I gotta be the DM here. DM says, no, stop, please. Go start a band. They're gonna start a whole band. Do you think we could get him to play guitar for us? Hey, Jonathan, I assure you, I do not. Drop down and be racist. Jonathan's the lead singer. I don't want to be the lead singer. Sure. Lost this game. His name is Jonathan. Welcome to D and D. Me, the DM, is the real victim of this story. I had a whole plot line planned out. Not really. Uh, for you guys to do. In the Nebraska. Yeah, that we are there. It's true. I don't even know how they're talking. He's like in the sun. And Cap Captain Jonathan Oopsie. What are you gonna do? Please end them. <laughs> You're my only hope. So I'm going to I think I'm going to take a small remote, uh, small remote control button on it and uh, send the rest of my duck army to a city that is nowhere near Nebraska because that doesn't have cities. Ha. <laughs> uh, can we get a fact check on that? <laughs> Omaha and Lincoln. Okay, they have two cities. They have, the rest of it's corn, as I'm told. We had it fact checked, they have two cities. Let's take over Omaha. <laughs> do, do, do. Roll. The villain can't get a break, and neither can the DM. The party continues their shenanigans to start a revolt against the DM himself. <sighs> the duck army attacks the wrong state entirely. They take over Florida for no reason. <laughs> I like how I like how the audience is just like, oh man, they're Florida ducks. They're so amazing. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> yeah, we'll call Claire. that. Yeah, How you doing? Well, I just realized that my name's Claire. I'm a cleric, so I'm Claire Claire, and that's amusing. Right? I thought your name was Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, I think there's really only one thing to do at this point, and that's um, have a montage to our epic hit single. <laughs> Is you kick off your song 
from Ikea he came. <laughs> with mage band in mind. Take it away, Jonathan. <laughs> There is nothing at the end can do. The party has taken over. At this point, I would send something like a dragon or something to come and eat the party and, um, amongst their concert. I have to make my own chair. I will chair man. Evil Jonathan. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. <laughs> we should definitely give you the power to make a chair to fight John. <laughs> They're off performing a concert in Nebraska for no one, because no one lives there. But it, it, it took off. It did really well. It's a 69 on a D20? Can't beat that. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible until today. It was nice though. But you're my only hope. Please stop these things. Please. I'm begging you. It's a lot of pressure. It is. <laughs> What's going on right there? <laughs> However, I, I will say, I'm gonna make the main character of Disneyland Donald Duck. Woo! <laughs> Down Jonathan. with the mouse. Jonathan World, yeah. <laughs> In Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah! Dude, the tourism business is about to boom there. <laughs> I'll have to start a sabotage effort and buy out as many tickets as I can with the gold that I would have spent on your tab. Oh. I thought you said you didn't have the money for that. We can pay off my tab with that. Liar. I like you. I have Florida. That's what taxes work. True. Very true. Very true. Roll. There's no people in Nebraska. <laughs> The villain never gets a break. <laughs> no, we do this show so often. The villain almost never wins. <laughs> they never get what they want. Or what I want. <laughs> they got Florida. Uh, who cares? <laughs> this is the worst possible outcome that could have happened. <laughs> <sighs> you failed to make a chair. You failed to control your ducks. You failed to put an end to their band. And they're just gonna go crazier and crazier until you can catch up to them. And that's why I'm terrified. <laughs> this is the worst outcome that could have ever happened. A nat one, are you kidding me? <laughs> I rolled 13, 14, 18. <laughs> Don't blame the die. The villain flies up, does something with their remote, and absolutely nothing good. The remote explodes. The villain is like, ah! and just like flies off like a duck. Very adventure. I can't do good gunshot noises. Someone will, though. 
That, that was good enough. <laughs> we'll take it. Put it in post. <laughs> As you do. Eight. No, no, the tavern's locked off. <laughs> yeah, and it, it exploded because a duck grew too big. You hold an eight. You go to get a bunch of Shirley Temples, and they're like, we're all out of Sprite to dilute all of our alcohol. So we, we can't, we can't get you any. Who are you? Who are you? One of the Jonathans. That means nothing to them. I don't They're like, who? They're literally sitting on Jonathan right now. Why is there another chair? solo. try to play ceremony, and then you realize you're the mage, not the cleric. And then you start playing the trumpet for tequila.
Jonathan's carrying. <laughs> this is great. Fighter. It's very emotional. I know. I know. We've been through so much together since I first purchased him. <laughs> At Ikea? Yeah, of course. Are you not paying attention to the song? <laughs> I'm the DM. <laughs> That answers a lot more questions than you ask. <laughs> I'm gonna just... Uh, I can't bear the burden of losing Jonathan, so I'm gonna just walk into the sunset. Morosely. Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> you start to walk off. You find yourself just drawn back to the tavern where Jonathan is. You walk in, whatever the word he used was, I'm, I'm not an English major, uh, and there he is, Jonathan, right next to the stool where you left him. He stayed for me. <laughs> <laughs> if this story doesn't end with those three in a goofy house, I don't know. I don't know what would. They're, they're exiled and alone with a chair in Nebraska. Is there a worse fate? Do I have to do anything? Florida, yeah. They did steal your duck still. That, that is a plot point. Yeah, oh, yeah. Duck. Multiple things. You've got to stop saying that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the kid laughed. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that kid ever speaks duck, we're in trouble. <laughs> Sorry. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> then be the hero. <laughs> End the reign of Jonathan. That would make you the real villain. You see how many people don't want you to do that? I'm gonna try to tar and feather the chair. <laughs> please, please, please. You walk into the bar, walk up to Jonathan, pocket feathers, ah, <laughs> And the fighter looks up at you, quivery lip and all. <laughs> Why? Ah. <laughs> ha. That is the most real line I've ever heard during this. God, I gotta think of something funny. So three Jonathans walk into a bar. Four, four. That's funnier than anything I was gonna come up with. Did you just say Jonathan wasn't unique? <laughs> Who's the real villain here? <laughs> she got worse than the duck name. <laughs> I'm just interrupting my <laughs> The army of Jonathan. Ooh. Roll. Jonathan wasn't unique. Everyone hissed. 
And here you are proving them wrong. You pull up with like a hundred Jonathan chairs. <sighs> the boy band, or the Jonathan band, I should say, went from four to 104. <laughs> Real quickly. We're now fired. K-pop group. Wonderful. That's totally not going to get really confusing when I have to go through all 100 Jonathans. <laughs> Jonathan won. What would you like to do? That's a good idea, Jonathan. Yeah. I don't speak chair. We're talking to a chair on top of a chair on the stage right now. You guys are loving it. It makes no sense. Listen, this chair is made of wood, right? So if you can't speak with plants and speak with dead, you can speak chair. Nope. <laughs> Let him cook. Player's <laughs> handbook. Page two and seven. I mean, you could also just cast people with chairs. Oh, I could. You know what? You do you. <laughs> Go for it. But I feel like we all know what Jonathan's I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You are the omnipotent DM, and yet. <laughs> All right, I oh, hold on. I did not do this improv show to be called out. Ten. <laughs> you can speak basic chair. <laughs> it's a conversation. It sounds a lot like French. Oui, oui. Omelette. <laughs> Croissant. Croissant. Um, it's like a should be Spanish. It should be sweet. Oh, too late now. Allez au toilette. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> the villain is still posing a threat to at least one Jonathan. Um, and I'm not super keen on that. Um, I'm going to cast Net to put the villain in a net. For a 10. I made him that. <laughs> I love it when they try to be like, come on, that's worth something. <laughs> <laughs> the net got made, it just, you know, it's, it's probably not a stable net. You throw the net up, and it doesn't quite hit the villain. It puts the net over the door, stopping the army of Jonathan's and your cleric from entering oh, no. the tavern. Oh, no. But it traps the villain in the tavern. I like that technicality. I'm full of them. So the current state is chaos. You go this trap in the tavern, correct? Right? Yeah. What tavern? The one we built. Um, it went to a different one. And a different. <laughs> you're at the floral one. Yeah. Is the tavern run by ducks? <laughs> you know, Nebraska's not even near. <laughs> like, it would have made a little more sense if it was like Georgia, Florida. I yeah, guess that is. Word for how foolish of me. Yeah. You have a duck. I'm sorry. Wait, can it fit all three of us? What? Can it fit all four? It's the size of a bus. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan's fit in a bus. <laughs> uh -huh. At least 50. Alright, I'll take that. We have a double decker bus. Double decker. That's double decker. That way 100 up. Double decker. 100 Jonathan. Double decker. <laughs> Fighter. Jonathan's the real one. It's covered in feathers. Um. <laughs> We trapped the villain, right? I'm not sure what I need to do left. Uh, they're they're in there with you. Oh. You're in there with the villain. Yeah, Jonathan's are outside. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, the real one's inside. Jonathan the Primus is We need a board with all of our figurines. It's just like... Zach. Um, sorry, sorry. So you see... I'll come better prepared. Jonathan and I have had a deep and interesting backstory, mostly on his end. Um, <laughs> but because of that, we have an innate bond. And through that bond, I, you know, I, I can just tell that Jonathan 
I'm going to have help Jonathan to summon the other Jonathans and have them combine oh, into yo. Jonathan Prime. Oh. <laughs> what, my guys, yeah, my guys watched way too many Voltron and Power Rangers. <laughs> You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Roll. Eleven. No pressure. Yeah. Everyone's so excited for this chair. Jonathan channels its energy as much as possible and makes like a mini chair like robot person, but not the full Jonatron Prime. Jonatron Prime. <laughs> that was totally unintentional. Choices. You guys got to stand now. It's worth it for Jonathan. It's incredibly comfy down here. Jonathan is a JoJo. Oh. Jonathan with the Jonathans, you're their stand. Oh. Is that a stand joke? Is that standing? Villain, please kill this chair. <laughs> well, I, I suppose if... Send him to the Shadow Realm. Pull out a deck of cards. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> Do anything. Oh, face. <laughs> I suppose with the new child, Jotron, and the um, enemy party at my gates, and uh, I'm about to be surrounded, I must call on the most fretful ally, the geese. <laughs> I hate geese. Me too. Geese, geese, geese. Canada geese, of course. Where are they? Migrate to the south for the winter or something. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Do any of us look like animal or forensics? Normal. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. I didn't think so. Roll. I do. Well, they're, they're geese. In fly in the geese. Sadly, just Northern American geese, not Canadian geese. They're not that powerful. He, they only rolled an 11, so these geese aren't that great. Attack! But they will attack because they hiss and bite and they're vicious. Never walk up to a goose. <laughs> Ever. Ever. That is your public service announcement. The geese come down and they attack the tavern. Boom, 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 boom. Killing all the Jonathans outside. John Tron inside quakes. Hashtag justice, justice for Jonathan. Hashtag geese messing you up. I speak geese. Hashtag get geese gone. Hashtag I'm building. Say Jonathan's thing. I say she rolls. <laughs> she really went for it. I'll give you that. Um. You scare back half the geese. Oh, all right. Didn't know you were cool like that. So they go off to the field and just start pooping a lot. As geese do, make a mess everywhere. That's good for the corn. 
Who cares? It's Nebraska. Oh yeah, we are in Florida now. Everyone cares. Yeah, you see how you see how dumb that sounded? It's Florida. Oh, it, or yours or John Tron's? I mean, I don't speak chair. He's gonna t he's gonna take the um, defend action. Um, defend, I, of course. <laughs> he's sturdy. So I believe it. High constitution. I am going to let's see. We got geese going on now. Power word chair. Oh. Power um, what's the natural enemy of the goose? The chair. The moose. The moose. The moose. The moose. Power word moosen. Oh. That That's wasn't right. power word moosen. Oh, no. That's more than one moose. A six! It's going to get a really tiny moose. <laughs> It's gonna be like this size. <laughs> you call on power word moose. You see out in the distance making its sweet time a moose. Hi, <laughs> Kevin. See that? That was totally unplanned. We did not plan to do that, but that was so insane. I love that. But there it is. It'll get here eventually. Who knows when? He's got time. You know. Fun fact, the predator of the moose, killer orcas, whale. killer whale. Yeah. yeah. Weird. They swim. Weird. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I'm totally not dropping hints for the villain. Killer whales. More geese. Fighter. Your turn. Jeez. Uh. I always love it when my fighters go, oh man, it's my turn. Oh, here I go dying again. My lack of magical abilities is coming in the... I never said you couldn't. This is improv D&D. You do whatever you want, within reason, of course. As long as you don't want to Wait, this isn't within reason. How's everyone doing? <laughs> they're, they're talking to themselves. We're talking to Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan's doing great. John Tron. So, John Tron. It's time to resort to my backup way. As you do. Uh, saxophone. Oh. <laughs> Is he allowed to do that? Yes. Nobody. <laughs> you were in a band. Roll. You're gonna take your saxophone and do what exactly? Um, Play Careless Whisper. Careless. Yeah. Beat me to it. Go ahead. Actually, the Careless Whisper to buff the moose. As the fighter pulls out the saxophone, they appear on top of the moose, playing Careless Whisper. And the moose starts charging. It, it just goes like a comet across the field towards the end. Tavern, bar, Shirley Temple. Um, yeah, that's the name of the bar. <laughs> Villain, it's not looking good. The moosin is coming. <laughs> Die? <laughs> nope. I'm gonna duck and roll. Oh! Oh, oh that's cheating. Is that? It's cut. Go ahead. We're, we're... An 18 and a 2. If I would have moved the wire way, it would have been a 2. So I, I gave it to them anyways. Go ahead, reroll. They rolled a 1. <sighs> 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 you know, 
I try my best to make it as fair as possible, but you know, it's really hard when you duck and roll into the moose and it just tramples you. You duck and roll into the moose who is being powered by fearless whispers. And the moose tramples you into the ground. <laughs> Absolutely is it, messed up. Is it what? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> there he is. There they are. The fighter playing careless whisper on top of a moose. And the villain mangled to bits. <laughs> the, the cleric outside. Finally rips down the net, walks in to the end. Oh. Good job, guys. Good choice. Yeah. What about Jonathan? This is Jonathan. Good job, 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 Jonathan. Over the over the villain's corpse. <laughs> Cut that out. We don't want to. We don't want to get in trouble. For it. That's, that's, you know what? Leave it in. Man, this was really weird. <laughs> but there they are, celebrating their victory. Holding up a chair in the bar. I made a deal with uh, Robin's Nerd. They're a vendor in the vending hall for the whatever they're called. You can get, if you show them and say you went to our panel, you had a great time, whatever, you can get a 10% discount on any of their merch there to start your own adventures, getting your own dice and stuff. How does that sound? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Let's hear it up for our party. Yeah. And no Billy. And the one that I'm afraid will get in trouble for, Jonathan! Yeah. All right, thank you everyone for coming. Before we go, we want to all take a picture, a group picture, where this will be our thumbnail for the video too. With Jonathan. So if anyone comes up, we'll take a giant group photo. We've also got the ribbons. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, we'll give you the ribbons. I don't know who took the ribbons, where they are. The one of you have, they're at the back. Um, but we're gonna take a group photo. And also, let's give a round of applause for our amazing DM. Thank you for putting up with us.